New Year's Eve. We'll all be waiting for that day now. Through the Christmas. Now we have a chance. We have excuse to fuck up our brain cells. Can I get a uh, cocktail, miss? Okay, thank you. Thank you. And drinking some cocktails. Unfortunately, this is just soda water and orange juice. But anyways, we have some great fragrances. If you want to smell a little bit special, if you don't want to smell like each and every day of your life, if you want something a little bit more exclusive maybe, you might want to uh, put down some money and buy a nice fragrance for this uh, upcoming New Year's event. Maybe you're going to all black party, all black tie. So the first fragrance is a fantastic one. It's very expensive. But I've smelled it. I don't own it, but I've smelled it, and this is killer. This is a killer fragrance. And this is Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton. It goes for around $350, so it's about Creed price range, I would say. About Creed price range. But this is a very special fragrance. They have some oud in this, they have some raspberry, and they have some interesting notes. I think there's some myrrh in this fragrance as well that makes it stick out. That makes it stick out. Smelled it on a friend, tried it for myself, on my wrist, loved it throughout the whole day, but I'm too cheap to buy the bottle because I think it's still too expensive for me right now. But if I didn't have a problem at all with money and I could just throw money around me, I would buy this to have in special occasions. It's not a all day type of cologne or fragrance, but that's why it's in this list, of course. Cheers, guys. The, the next one is a very, a very fantastic fragrance and this is YSL Tuxedo just hear the name I don't have to say any more anything more fantastic upscale elegant fragrance one of the more elegant fragrances that I've tried I have the moustache in a bigger sample right now the tuxedo is on its way to me in a full presentation I love it I'm going to wear that personally on um, to my New Year's party to my New Year's Eve and I'm going to uh, enjoy it enjoy the smell of it myself because this is an upscale elegant fragrance good projecting good longevity women like this one how how is it in the price range well 75 milliliters go for around 170 bucks so it's not a cheap fragrance but there are more expensive fragrances out there with bad uh, worse performing with worse performance and also that doesn't smell this luxurious so that's the number two and if you don't have the money or don't want to spend 170 dollars something on an elegant fragrance like YSL Tuxedo there's always Russia's moustache that you can get now on Nutino for around 60 bucks I think that's a very good bargain it's a very good deal if you're a student or maybe you don't, just don't want to spend that much money then the Russia's Moustache is a fantastic fragrance, very upscale, elegant, but it's it doesn't have that last bit. It doesn't. It has nine out of five in the upscale, but in my opinion, there's some kind of mojo that I can explain with why Cell Tuxedo has that Russia's Moustache lacks a little bit. Just to keep in mind, number four on this list, in my opinion, is a fantastic fragrance that you can wear all year round. But if you have it and you don't want to spend more money on fragrances, you can wear this. This is uh, fantastic. I can't stop smelling this. And this is Dior Homme 2020. Also a very, yeah, it's a very classy fragrance. What, what can I say? One of my favorites. Dior Homme 2020. Just wear it. The girls will love you for it. Very mature fragrance if you are a uh, older guy. If you're a young guy then uh, maybe choose something else. Next one I would go for is Tom Ford Oud Wood. Oh, my battery is about to die, but we keep going. Oud Wood, Tom Ford, very special fragrance. Smells nothing like the others that I mentioned. Very highly pro projecting fragrance. Oud Wood for a masculine man that wants to stick out and go in and take a room. This is something that I personally wouldn't wear, but if you are a guy who uh, you're very outgoing and you want people to notice you when you enter a room, especially in New Year's Eve, maybe try this one. Very 
highly projecting fragrance. Next one is of course Creed Aventus, have to mention this one because it's an elegant fragrance. People use it sometimes only in special occasions, so why not wear it in a special occasion as New Year's Eve? And if you don't want to spend that money but you want a good substitute to Creed Aventus, go for Alhara Mains Laventure Intense instead, because this is equally as good, especially in the dry down, when the alcohol is drying down a bit and evaporated from your skin. Fantastic one. What do we have here? Okay, the battery's gonna die, so of course I don't charge my uh, camera. Next one, very weird fragrance, but interesting. Barreto Velvet Haze. Velvet Haze. It smells, they say it's going to smell like you know paradise in some way. Uh, they have a very different type of notes that makes this interesting, but it's not for everyone. And of course, I can't really explain what you f what you smell, but I feel that this is something that you can go in like a pyjama party because it's pretty unisex. Like all Barreto fragrances, they have this. Um, they, they they have both ma masculine and feminine notes. They combine it and then they get this unisex fragrance. So it's not for the super masculine guy who wants something super elegant. This is something you can buy with your girlfriend and you can both wear it if you want. If you are a little bit uh, like unisex type of a person and you don't want to have masculine fragrances and feminine fragrances. This is something interesting that you can buy if you want something. Next one is um, from M. Mikalev good fragrance. This is a Royal Vintage. Also an upscaled version, better version of Creed Aventus in my opinion. Smoky nuances. Smells like older batches of Creed Aventus, older smokier batches of Creed Aventus. Highly projecting fragrance, also upscaled, but that's all. That's what we're talking about today, because it's an upscaled event. You want something that is a little bit more upscaled that you usually don't want to wear or don't want to spend your money on. Next one, we go down to the uh, category of a little bit lower price range. This is Isimiyaki uh, Pulse of the Night. It has that original Isimiyaki DNA, but this is of course a nighttime fragrance. So it works very well when the sun goes down, when all you see is the street lights and hopefully happy people with a cocktail in their hand, ready to dance, ready to have a good time. So that's a fantastic fragrance. Okay, uh, to try to wrap, wrap it up. The, the, the um, battery indicator is blinking red, so I'm, I'm terrified that it's going to just cut. <laughs> but anyways, that was the ninth fragrance. Okay, the last one that I only have in a sample. Shout out to Stoneface who sent me this. This is Valentino Noir. No